Hello and welcome back to Scratch Your Farm Order. So today we are converting this old horse trailer. So this is a much smaller trip. A scale to go behind a much smaller tractor. That's a figure for size. Obviously you ain't gonna get no horses in that. So um what I'd like to do is turn it into a quad bike trailer. So I almost bought a quad bike trailer the other day, then I found it out. So um as you can see it's about the right size for a quad bike trailer, but we're gonna lose the top. So we'll get started with it, we're gonna, I think the top pops off, if not we'll break it off because it will come off one way or another. Yeah that's the top pops off and now we're gonna cut these down, so I need to, normally you'd use this type of snip but these are blunt as because um, well they've just been very worn, so I'm gonna be using these ones and then having to file it down. Just trying to get flat in there. And just take, cutting them off. And now I'm going to get some files. So I've got these Draper files. They're quite cheap this set. So you can get them off of Amazon. Then I'm just gonna file, file them down. So this is gonna take quite a while, so I'll set up a time lapse of it. So that's all filed down now and now we're gonna take the axle off because obviously we don't want the axle getting paint on it so we're gonna this is quite handy I thought it's gonna have to mask it up but you can just unscrew it quite easily at the bottom take two screws out and then it just falls apart so I'm gonna paint it in silver because that's what you often see these in axle I'm leaving as it is because it's already got a decent paint job on it I mean it's not amazing but to be fair it'd be fine so I'm going to put these to one side and now I'm going to spray paint these normally you would do any spray painting outside because of the fumes but it is tipping it down with rain so I'm going to do it inside with the door open and the shed and then I'm going to just leave the shed for a bit and then come back to it tomorrow so I'm just using this acrylic spray, it's silver looking-ish. And then obviously I have got stuff set up so this can't get any, this paint can't get on any models or anything. And these are going in the bin so I don't really care if these get paint on them. That's why I'm using it to turn it over. So that's like that now, so I'm going to leave the shed because it's going to get quite fumy in here very soon and I'll come back to this tomorrow. So it's dry now, it's still a little damp but I'd like to get this video out for you. So um, put the axle back in. And screw this back on. get the screws where have they gone and I'll screw it back on so we've got the screws it's got missing a little bit of paint down there but it doesn't bother me it is on the under underside anyway so the idea behind this trailer it's gonna be like um that you put sheep in. So I'm a bit annoyed there is a little paint, bit of paint that's missing in there, but it's not too noticeable. You can see it's a little green there, so I will fix that now quickly.
Right, so, so it will look different colour till it dries. And then once it dries, it'll be done. So there it is now finished, so it looks quite well behind that quad. And that is a small one, so you can put a bigger one in the front of it, for example, it'll probably look even better, because it is a reasonable sized trailer. And then obviously it's got the ramp, which opens. Try and do this one hand because it's not easy. So um, yeah, it's uh, turned out really well, I'm pleased with it. So um, if you want one of these made, just PM me and I can do it. But um, they're quite nice, good little projects that anyone could do really, if you had the right parts and paints and everything. So that's pretty much it. When I was looking on an analytics, 75% of you that watch, so the majority of my watch views, uh, hours even, uh, watch hours and views come from people that haven't subscribed. So if you could subscribe, it'd be great. It's free, it doesn't cost anything at all. Um, it just makes uh, it easier for you to find my channel. It will be in your um, in your YouTube homepage. But anyway, so if you could subscribe, it really help the channel out. So thanks for watching. Any questions you have, leave in the comments and see you again soon.